Hi everyone, here's the question of the day. Why Forbes magazine is forecasting that the knowledge industry will be growing exponentially within the next five years, even though the colleges are failing the students? I'm Mike Impulgado from Education Innovators, and I would like to tackle these questions today. What is the knowledge industry? Where is it going? How you can be a part of it and make profits on it? And finally, what to do in order to join it today? In order to do that, I would like to use a visual representation of it, and so without further ado, let's go and check it out. Okay, let's imagine for the moment that this here is the whole knowledge industry that we have today. If that's the case, it stands on three pillars, and those are nothing else than the shoulders of people who work in this industry. So let's look closer into each pillar and find out what is the role of these people in the industry and why all of these pillars are equally important. The first group of people are experts. Those are the people who have specialized knowledge. But don't get me wrong, when I say specialized, it doesn't mean that those have to be rocket scientists, doctors and professors. It's only a person who have knowledge skills or experience that somebody else need at the same time. It could be a high school student who will be an expert for the primary students in math. Or it could be a mom with six kids who will be an expert for a girl who just had a first baby. Bottom line, these will be the people who have special expertise that they can share with others. The second group of people are educators. Those are the people who have the special unique way how to share the knowledge of their own or the knowledge of others. It could be a college professor, a lecturer, a teacher, but at the same time it could be a mom who found a way how to motivate her children to eat nutrition food. Or it could be a dad who found a way how to find balance between the work life and the house life. What's important to distinguish between these two groups are that the educators don't need to have specialized knowledge. What they do need to have is a special unique method how they share the knowledge with the target audience that needs this knowledge. The last group are the explorers. Those might be the people who don't have specialized knowledge or don't have best methods how to share the knowledge. But what they do have is a unique problem and a unique solution they found in a process of research they did. It could be because they have special connections or special resources that some other people don't have. They could gather the knowledge of a lot of other experts and by simply sharing their discoveries, they can benefit the learners who are experiencing the same challenges in their life. So now that you know a little bit more about the knowledge industry and the people who work in it, you might try to position yourself in one of these groups. Are you an expert who has a specialized knowledge or experience or skill that might be useful to somebody else? Or maybe you found a unique method how to share some knowledge with a specific group of people that are resonating with your message. Or maybe you just had a problem and find a very unique solution by researching it that might be very valuable for people like you. You can become a part of knowledge industry by becoming one of these pillars. And no matter which one you're gonna become, it's still gonna be equally important. And that's because there are experts out there who don't have time or skills to share the knowledge and they will need educators. There are educators out there who would need a specialized knowledge that they can share with others. And there will be people who discovered how to solve problems, but they won't have methods or following like experts, so they won't have a chance to share it with people. And so, starting with one pillar, you can expand and become more than one. So let's tackle the last question. What can you do today in order to start? This is the moment when we need to differentiate the learning, because depending on what role you feel most comfortable with at this moment of time, your path will be a little bit different. So in order to deliver you the best possible answer, I would like to invite you for a quick call or video conference with one of the World Education Innovator coaches that will help you establish which of these pillars you should start with and deliver you 
the individual path that will allow you to start on your journey. So please drop us a comment below or contact us uh, via email and we will deliver you the free advice that will allow you to start.